Good afternoon, everybody. This is Tom from 20th Century Rescue. I'm showcasing this beautiful uh, Art Deco-ish lamp. Um, has elements of uh, Art Deco, as you can see here. And um, this, uh, more Art Nouveau, or <laughs> I'm not sure what to call it. Um, but it is a striking lamp. It does have a beautiful shade as well. I want to point out right away, there is a mark line here that looks like uh, a water stain from here to here. Um, this I have not tried to wash. A um, little nervous about that. Uh, but when you turn, I mean, number one, you can barely see it. It looks like a shadow almost. Um, looking at it you don't really notice and then when you turn it on it disappears so <clears throat> voila you don't see it anymore um, which is surprising to me anyway um, but it's a beautiful lamp and uh, I think what I also wanted to point out is the shade is a little too high um, or maybe maybe it's the white lights the clear lights that kind of bother me uh, showing through here. I, I, I assume maybe that's they're intended to, but I would prefer it a little a little lower uh, if, if, it, if I could. Let me show you um, <clears throat> if that were to be the case one could lower it. It looks a lot better. Let me try to get away. It does look better. A little lower. And so all you would have to do, let me take this, turn this off, is replace this and get a shorter center uh, pole here. Because it does end here, it unscrews here. And so I would get something uh, probably, well, my knuckle is exactly an inch, something two inches shorter. If, if that's your opinion, if, if you agree with my opinion on that. Um, does have the on off. This seems to be, um, I don't know if it's real or glass. Um, uh, what, what would the stone call it? I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, but it's, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is, is onyx, green onyx. And, and I can't tell that it is or isn't. Um, it's cool to the touch, but I suspect maybe glass. I don't know. But anyway, um, these also can be replaced if you don't like the fake drip. Um, and they also need to be cleaned up, which, and they're kind of cracked here. Uh, but, you know, it's not something you'll, you'll notice. You could actually repaint them. They are, seems to be cardboard. So, um, honestly, I, it's been rewired, that's clear. Um, but quite frankly, uh, you know, it's, it's cast base metal in a goldish color. And this is sort of silver, I think. Am I, yes. So this is goldy, goldy, and this is silvery. Um, <clears throat> again, some silvering is lost on this. Um, and you know, honestly, it kind of makes me wonder if it's a, if it's a marriage of some sort. Um because it's kind of a mishmash, but I love the lamp. I like the shade. Um, if you want me to try to wash it, I will do so by just dunking it in water and then immediately separating the tassels so they don't dry all crazy. Um, I might actually do that anyway. But um, yeah, no, you know what? No, I won't. I don't want to ruin it. Um, and I don't think I will. It's, it's silk. It seems to be silk. It does need a little cleaning anyway. Um, and it's really um, hard to tell if this was at one time a brighter shade of mauve and pink because right now it's all kind of a mishmash of it looks pinker on the camera than it does in person. Uh, in person, you kind of have to really take a closer look at it. Well, actually, the farther away I am, the more I see the pink. Uh, the closer you are, for me, maybe my eyes are going, it looks browner. Uh, but it's a handsome, handsome lamp, and this will be, uh, you know, any questions about it, please let me know. 
uh, the measurements will, of course, be in the listing. And there you have it. Have a great, great afternoon. Bye-bye.